Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode eight. And today we're talking about leadership. Leadership is so important. It's one of the biggest codes when it comes to freedom. Uh, One of my favorite authors is uh, John C. Maxwell. He's like the leadership guru. And one of the things he says is leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, He also says he that thinks he leads and has no followers is just taking a walk. And so, you know, I think one of the most important things that we must do is we have to lead ourselves and just also just remember that you're a leader, no matter what situation you're in, you are a leader because you have some influence over somebody. If you're a parent, you have some influence over your kids. If you're at the job, you have influence maybe with a coworker uh, or maybe with the clients, right? Um, If you're a, um, if you're in business for yourself, you know, you obviously influence uh, the people who you work with and you also influence clients, right? You start to gain influence in the marketplace. Uh, you create more value, right? We're, we're going to talk about that. But the biggest thing is like, there's no matter where you go, leadership is always present. Now, the difference is becoming a good leader, being consciously aware that I am a leader. Now, how do I get better? Right. That's the thing that we want to do is continue to get better, continue to work on ourselves and continue to uh, to be the leader that you want to see. I mean, think about it. We all want good leadership. But how about we start becoming that leadership for the people who were who are around us? Um, Just know that you are a leader. And and so, you know, I I love leadership because um, I've, I've been blessed to have some really, really great leadership. And I got a chance to see them lead, not just in the capacity that they were leading, but I got a chance to lead them, see them lead, you know, so to speak, off the field. I got a chance to see them lead behind closed doors. And those, those are the, the really impactful leadership lessons that I've learned because it, it, it just kind of brings everything full circle when you get a chance to see how someone operates in the leadership realm. There's different levels to leadership. So you're going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to develop. You know, I'll say this, uh, as a leader, you want to, you have to keep working on yourself because when everyone has a problem, guess who they bring it to? You, tag, you're it, right? I mean, if you're a parent, the kids bring the, the problems to you. If you're a business owner and there's a challenge, the problems come straight to you. Right. And so you don't want to be stressing yourself out because all these problems are coming. And you also don't want to run away from the problems because I'll just say this. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't pray for less problems. Pray for more skill. Right. Because as you increase your skill set, now you can handle bigger problems. And when you can handle bigger problems, I'm going to just tell you the person that solved the biggest problems catches the biggest paycheck. Right. So think about it. If you can solve a bigger problem that the average person can't solve, then you become more valuable. You know, it reminds me of in the Bible, Solomon, when the uh, when the two ladies came to him uh, over the the, 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 the the boy, right? Um, and both of them were claiming that it was their son. And this was an opportunity for Solomon to display his problem-solving skills. And when he solved that skill, he became more valuable, I believe, because now people saw that, hey, I can bring challenges to this guy because he's got the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to be able to handle it, right? So we have to always keep working on ourselves because we're always on and we always continue to grow so that we can we can, we can stretch our influence. We want our influence to grow. Just like you said, leadership is influence. So how many people are you influencing and how can we influence more people in a positive way? Obviously we don't want to influence people in a negative way, but we want to influence people in a positive way where we can have an effect. We can have an, a change. We can have uh, results uh, from that influence that we have created with them. Right? 
Uh, but the first thing that you have to do is lead yourself, right? That's the most important thing is leading yourself. So are you disciplined? Are you disciplined enough to do it when no one's looking, <laughs> do it when you don't feel like it, um, and keep getting better at doing it? So that you become a producer, and now you can produce on a high level that other people want to see what you're doing and who you are because and, and that you automatically develop a level of influence because now you become the example because you became a great discipline you, you became disciplined enough to produce on a high level and now people want to follow you because of what you're able to produce because of the results that you're able to provide right so this leadership uh thing is so uh important so invaluable for us to learn and grow and we're going to have lots and lots of episodes when it comes to leadership. So this is kind of an introduction, if you will, for leadership. But I want you to know that uh, we're always going to be on a journey. It's like if you're on the bottom of the stairs of leadership and you keep going up and you finally get to a place where you think that you've gotten pretty good at leadership and you're at the top of those stairs, guess what? you're going to get to another level, another point where you get back to the bottom of the stairs and you're having to do it all over again because it never stops. Every time you get to a level, there's another level to get to, right? And and also, you guys know how it works. When you get to a level, there's also another devil, right? In the way, trying to, trying to keep you out, trying to stop you from getting there. So again, it goes back to that's why we have to work on ourselves. That's why we have to get better. Um, so we constantly have to be listening to podcasts like this, right? That's why we have to constantly be in the books and be around the positive associations and be around people who can continue to stretch us. See, listen, you're either growing or you're dying. There is no in between. So we have to continue to stretch ourselves. We have to continue to grow. Um, you think about a rubber band. And if a rubber band um, is not stretching, eventually it becomes no good, Right. Think about, I'm sure, I'm sure we've all seen a rubber band that has lost its elasticity and that's because it stopped growing. And so that's why I wanted to have this talk with you guys today because leadership is the, one of the biggest codes to freedom that there is because you'll never escape freedom. I'm sorry, you'll never escape leadership. I'm sorry, <laughs> you'll never escape leadership. Leadership is everywhere. So one of the things that I'm always thinking is, and, and I share this with my, my team and even my leader that I work with a lot, is who are you grooming? Who are you working with? Who are you developing? And I can't tell you how rewarding it is, how exciting it is when your name shows up in someone else's testimony because of how you impacted them, because of how you've influenced them, right? So, um, you know, there's this saying, tell me, show me, uh, grow me, right? Tell me, show me, grow me. So it's like you, you, one, another way of saying it is this is just a, a philosophy that I have with my organization is I'll do it, then we'll do it, and then you do it, right? And so the goal is to equip people. And I'll tell you, people who have weak egos and, 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 and they, 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 they just can't get past themselves, Sometimes they don't want the spotlight to be off of them, but the goal is to get the spotlight off of you as quick as possible and get it on someone else because now you're duplicating yourself. Now you're giving yourself an opportunity to scale, um, especially as a business person. You're giving yourself an opportunity where your organization can grow exponentially. In fact, John C. Maxwell says, you know, a good leader focuses on addition, but a great leader focuses on multiplication. And the in order to get that multiplication, you have to lead leaders, not just lead followers. If you lead followers, you get addition. If you lead leaders, you get multiplication. And so uh, this is a very, very, very key topic. I'm so excited about it. I want you all to become more valuable. I want you to become so valuable because you're able to solve challenges and problems and you're able to produce and you're able to lead yourself and be disciplined that you become this person that stands out in the marketplace because there's not a lot of people like you because you've developed yourself enough where you can, you can, you can bring that value. And when that value comes, trust me, the rewards, the, the, the income, it all follows it. It has to, because um, you be, you become a diamond a dozen. You become a needle in a haystack. You become the diamond in the rough, right? 
So let's continue to work and grow on our leadership skills. And listen, I'm going to tell you, uh, I've been blessed to lead an organization of thousands of people uh, for, for, for many, many years now. Um, but I'm still working on my leadership skills. I'm still reading leadership books. I'm still, um, you know, even though I'm doing this podcast, I'm also listening to leadership podcasts because I want to get better because I, there's still so much more to go. Um, and, and I haven't arrived yet. Um, when you think you've arrived, that's when you fall down, right? So um, let's take this leadership journey together and let's grow together. God bless. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, Definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.